Hello, I'm just going to quickly go over the installation and configuration for MCMO. So, here's a thread, uh, just download it here. Link will be in the description. And then you want to drag and drop the mcmmo.jar into your plugins directory. Start the server up. It should say mcmo enabled and then loading the config files. That's great. So, stop server and have a look. So, go to plugins directory, you should see two new directories, MCMO and Plugin Metrics. Plugin Metrics uh, is just a way of allowing MCMO developers to track uh, how many people are using their plugin. If you want to opt out, you can just change the config here and set that to true. But we're interested in the MCMO, so open up the MCMO. Now you should see this hopefully. Uh, flat file stuff, nothing to worry about, don't edit this. This is just where all the data is stored for the levels and stuff. So here we have all the levels. Uh, don't mess with that probably just don't have to worry about that and again version don't have to worry about that what we're interested in today is the config.yml and treasures.yml so let's just have a brief look at the config.yml okay so the first is the locale or locale you can change this to whatever language uh, I believe the languages available are Finnish, German, French and Polish and if you want to create your own one there is a way and I will provide a link in the description. Uh, here we have the save interval this is how often the plugin saves uh, if it's saving too often you can make this value higher or lower depending on what you want. Uh, also it's quite cool about this plugin is that it does also support MySQL uh, you can enable that by setting that to true and of course you can input your username and password for your database and the server where the MSQL database is stored, port and address. Items, so you got the I can't say that word, Chimera or Simera, I can't I can't pronounce it. Uh, you can set that to true or false whether or not you want it or not. And then of course uh, how many feathers it will cost. So you can change that to fifteen. And uh, of course you can change the ID uh, associated it so if you wanted it for instance a uh, string for example you can change that to the idea of string should you want to change it okay so there's a bit of information about the forging but I'm not going to go over that uh, fishing so you can enable the uh, drops so you can set that to true or false there where you want the drops enabled and you can also change the levels for each tier so we have 200, 400 you can change those to like 20, 40. Uh, well, the great thing is you can just change the things along and uh, of course just set what you like. So the abilities, you can set that to true or false and whether or not uh, it will message you, again, you can set that to true or false. Uh, what well, nice thing, well, at the moment, uh, you've seen the video, we right click to use the activation. You can also only activate while sneaking. So you can set that to true there and you have to uh, be sneaking and right click to do it and also here have all the cooldowns uh, in seconds I believe I'm not sure probably seconds for all the uh, cooldowns so the blast mining that's the cooldown time and giga drill giga, giga drill breaker 240 and so on and why not uh, so skills so for each skill they have a little bit of information generally most of them are just level cap so if uh, uh, you just want like people to get to level 5 for instance acrobatics and you can set that there uh, zero means there's no cap excavation has a little bit more requires shovel so you can set that whether or not they can uh, get, uh, get um, XP by using their fist for example on the dirt and uh, herbalism you can uh, we didn't actually go over this in the uh, gameplay bit but you can actually turn cobble to mossy cobblestone and uh, smooth brick to mossy brick using the herbalism skill and you can set whether or not you want to enable that here maybe you can have a look after this and uh, see what it does and again mining you can set whether or not it requires a pickaxe and stuff and here we have the repair so you can actually change the ID for an anvil now 42 is the uh, iron block for instance you want to make it a gold block or a diamond block you can easily change that to the ID of the appropriate block and then you can set whether or not you can repair armors and repair tools and here also we have uh, all the levels 
for the uh, repair. So at the moment, uh, even at level one, you can repair everything except from diamond, which you need to be level 50 at, and you can change those there to how whatever you like. Uh, taming, you just got Call of the Wild, which is a skill I believe. Uh, we did not go over that, but you can take a look at that for yourself. So have a look. Uh, experience. So most of all is enabled. So you can set that to true or false and whatnot. Uh, PvP. You can also get rewards for PvP, uh, like XP for doing PvP, and that's how you do that. And also uh, the formula. So there's a multiplier. So for instance, at the moment everything just ties by one. But if you want people to level up twice as fast, for instance, in swords, you could set that, for instance, to two. And then uh, for every XP they get, they'll get twice the amount of XP. And so on. So these these are fairly self explanatory. This is how much XP, I believe, uh, to, for doing each action. So c cutting down oak tree, you get 70. Spruce, 80. Each birch, and so on. And you can set these to however you like. And we've got all the combat multipliers here as well. So for instance, you get a higher multiplier with the Ender Dragon, eight with, but lower on the like slimes and, and just normal animals. And here we have all the list of commands, uh, very self-explanatory. Whether or not you want them to be enabled or disabled. So here you can just just set that to false if you don't want it enabled. And also quite a cool thing is that uh, spout, uh, spout, MCMO also can use uh, spout. Now we didn't actually go over this in the tutorial. But uh, you can press the key M, I believe, and this will show some information about uh, your your uh, your skills and stuff. And it also have like an XP bar at the top. If you want to see some screenshots, I believe they're on the thread. And uh, whenever you level up, it will like a uh, I believe play a tune. Yeah, yeah, it'll play a tune when you start, uh, level up. It also play a tune when you use abilities and repair stuff. So it's, it's quite a cool addition. I would recommend using Spout with MCMO. So it's a good mix, in my opinion. And here we can see you can change all the colors for everything there. There's RGB. So you can just change the values there up to 1. So that's the config.yml. And now let's go over the treasure.yml. So these are just mainly for fishing. So these are all the uh, things you can fish out of the sea, so you've got leather boots, records, iron, for instance if you don't want people to fish out records you can just bish bash bosh remove it, uh, excavation, the other things you can find when you dig in dirt and stuff, and then you've got uh, the treasures, cake, so there's the ID, uh, any data values, how much of it, and so on, so for each one there'll be one here, so you can actually change it to what you like and then you can also set how many of each using the amount so if I find one I, re I reckon they're all one no my luck yeah well the amounts are one but you can change that for instance if you wanted uh, gold music drop chance uh, to drop two you can drop two but you can also just change the drop chance there so I believe that's 0.05% uh, so you need to mine a lot to get gold music or fish a lot but then you've got this got all the general items and you can add as many as you like here and just change the ID to whatever the ID of the item is and how much of it and how much XP they get how rare often they get it uh, the drop level and then the max level they can get it so above this level they won't be able to uh, fish out for instance I believe so then you just got all the all the items there. Goes all the way to Lapis Lazuli, which I believe is the last item here. Lapis Lazuli. So we can add another one. We just do like a I don't know what's there, but let's just do bucket. Right, so you just add bucket, go to the bottom, just copy Lapis Lazuli. We'll change this to what we put, so bucket. We change the ID to that of a bucket. I don't actually know what it is. Let's say it's 28. No idea. Data value, I know it's zero. How many they get of it? So, one. 
times XP, so 200, and how often we'll change that down to about 10, so it's less frequently found. A drop level, and then the max level, and drops from fishing. So that's how you'd add a different treasure to the treasures that YML. So you can add or remove them at will. And also, as I've said before, well, I actually haven't got the drops from, and then you can list all the uh, um, the blocks that it dropped from. So from grass, the cake can drop from grass, dirt, sand, gravel, clay, but no other blocks, for instance. So that's the treasure one. Let's say that one. That's it. And that concludes today's tutorial. So thanks for watching. This has been me, Sam Carefree Gaming, signing out.